before we go into the signs and symptoms of depression i just want you guys to know that these symptoms should have been occurring for two weeks in order for the person to be qualified as someone suffering from depression the other thing that can happen is that a person can have these symptoms for like two days or three days few days at least and uh, these symptoms are so severe for example the person tries to commit suicide you don't have to wait for two weeks for the person to be qualified as somebody that has depression the first symptom is low mood you feel sad you feel low you feel down you feel blue um, you feel so sad that's um, one symptom the next another symptom is um, loss of interest or loss of enjoyment in things you used to love doing before for example you like playing playstation games and all of a sudden you realize that you're not even interested in doing it anymore like what's the point of doing it all right also you have reduced energy like you get tired easily even just to get up and have your bath and brush your teeth you start feeling like you've done so many things and you feel so tired you also discover that um, you have reduced concentration or attention the main way you know this is if you and somebody have had a conversation and then one hour later the person was like can you remember what i told you you won't be able to remember what the person was talking to you about that shows that you have reduced concentration and attention the next one is reduced self-esteem and self-confidence you don't feel you're beautiful enough you don't feel you're handsome enough the next is idea of guilt and unworthiness like you feel bad you feel like oh i have this, this i have this illness and i'm putting my family through so much you just feel i'm not even worth it why are they going through all this struggle for me next the person may think see the future as a uh, bleak the person just feels pessimistic about the future like there's nothing ahead of me in my life like there's no need for me to continue because the future won't end in a good way also part of the symptom is um idea of self-harm or committing suicide you feel like there is no need for me to go on in life it's better i just end it uh another set of symptoms is either somnolence or insomnia that means sleeping too much or not being able to sleep at all or sleeping and not getting enough sleep um you wake you sleep around 9 pm you wake up at 11 pm and you won't be able to sleep again till the next morning or you wake up and uh, maybe have your bath and eat and then sleep for the rest of the day like oversleeping and undersleeping is also part of the symptoms just as you have over and under sleeping you can also have over and under eating like you have greater appetite or reduced appetite that's when you see that someone that has depression either starts getting very fat or starts losing weight like you're wondering why don't i have um appetite to eat it's um that's one of the symptoms of depression Irritability is also one of the symptoms, like things you could stand before, like you, you can't stand your patience, it, your patience, it, your patience is just reduced, <laughs> oh my gosh, like your patience is just reduced, like things you used to be able to take from people, you can't take it anymore, you're like, just leave me alone, I'm not in the mood to talk to you, things like that. Although I haven't experienced this before, physical pain can also be part of um, depression. For example, having abdominal pain, having headaches, cramps all over your body can also be a sign. That's all for now. If you have any questions, you can comment down below or send me a DM on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share, and comment also. Thank you for watching and also thank you Afro with Naturals for sponsoring this video.